This is Latoya of Infinite Nature and today we are making cashew curry kelp noodles. Alright, so right now I'm showing the ingredients which is cashews, water, curry powder, maple syrup, sea salt. I got this from the website therotarian.com. She has lots of amazing raw vegan recipes so definitely check that out. I normally add broccoli to it but I decided to only do what was available. I didn't have broccoli in the refrigerator, so that's why you only see the carrots and the red pepper. You could add whatever vegetables you like. That's just what I had available, just like I just mentioned. But yes, um, and also what's not pictured is water, but I did end up adding it, but you won't see it in the, in the filming. So right now I'm showing the kelp noodles being soaked in hot water. Um, and I love using kelp noodles as a replacement to, you know, a real pasta. But I only used one pack of kelp noodles since I wanted to just make a quick sample of this. I've already made this a lot, so I wasn't trying to make a whole bunch of it. Yes, but this is a pretty good recipe. I enjoy it. So right now you are going to see me actually make the sauce. Mixing all the ingredients for the sauce together and blending it. I did add the water here, but I feel like I added more. I felt like I needed to add more water to mix up um, the cashews better. But it's a real simple recipe. You can adjust the measurements to your liking. You can make bigger um, servings depending on what it is you can add whatever you know like vegetables I don't know if I said that but you can add whatever vegetables you want it's real simple All right, so here is the sauce. And it's not that much as you can see. It's a real small serving. So right now I'm mixing the kelp noodles with the vegetables, which is just peppers and shredded carrots, and then the cashew sauce, the curry cashew sauce. And the one that I used was pretty spicy. I added a pretty spicy sauce but it's real simple and easy and i normally like to add broccoli to mine and i also add like green onions to it also sometimes but i didn't put it in this one i didn't want to make too much of it because i already had a lot of it so this is what it looks like mixed together it needs to sit so that it can get softer that's one thing that I do like about kelp noodles, the creamier the sauce, the faster it will get softer. And it's just real simple to the point and that's it. And here's the final result. And I already have it in a storage uh, container to put in a refrigerator and I had some lit the following day. And here is this, the actual salad with the kelp noodles. I hope that this inspires you to also make this recipe. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe.